What's up Video Fort Nation, I'm Magic Bard, and for today I'm going to show you how to do these hyperlapses, which are basically time lapses while moving. So think of like pans, tilts, um, walking or tracking a subject, tracking a building also looks cool. That's what a hyperlapse essentially is, it's time lapse while moving your camera. So instead of just keeping it on a stationary tripod, you're moving that tripod around every time. So you take a picture, take a step, move the tripod, take a picture, go again, so on and so forth for as long as you want. And right before we get into this tutorial, if you're new to Video Fort, definitely hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon right next to it. That way whenever we upload a new tutorial, you'll be the first to check it out and learn epic visual effects. We're going to be posting a lot of stuff within the next coming weeks. I want you guys to check it out. Let me know in the comment section what you like, what you don't like, what you want to learn and we'll get to it. So with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how to shoot, how to edit, hyperlapses. Alright guys, so first things first. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a picture and then move the tripod and take a step. So you can kind of see me doing this on the rooftop I and mean, I use my foot as kind of a guide to how far I'm going to move the tripod. Now the first thing I would do is on your camera go to the marker display or marker settings or grid settings and what you want to do is turn on your grid okay and what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to line up your subject or your building or whatever you're doing the hyperlapse on with your grid so the best way to do a hyperlapse is on a flat ground um, I know not everything is flat so you end up stabilizing it later in post but flat is best and as you can see on this hyperlapse on top of this building there were these planks so what I did was every time I moved my tripod I used the plank as my marker so that's really good to shoot with um, tiles in the street bricks in the street it's great to have markers on the ground that way every time you move your camera it's about the same distance every single time which is what you want so the last tip I have to say about shooting a hyperlapse is when you choose your subject that you want to track pick something that's in between you and the background so for example when I did this one of the harbor freeway sign right this was in the middle of it was in between me and these buildings which is the background so when I when I'm tracking it it gives this cool little parallax effect which looks really cool with the hyperlapse if I was to line up my buildings with the grid lines um, you wouldn't see as much of this pan as I'm moving from left to right so it's good to always have something someone in the middle even things that are close to you so even this lamppost would have been good as well if you want to get an idea of what a good parallax effect looks like I would literally watch any Michael Bay film because <laughs> he does that effect very well all the time with telephoto lenses so with that being said about shooting hyperlapses let's get into the edit so the first thing you want to do is you're going to open up Adobe Lightroom. This is my ideal workflow for hyperlapses. Technically, you can do the whole thing in Adobe Premiere Pro, um, but I'm going to show you how to use all three of these applications, get it done the right way, and move on to becoming a very good hyperlapse shooter. So first things first, um, when you're in Adobe Lightroom, you're going to go to Import, and then you're going to find your time-lapse clips and import them into here okay so I already have them imported so I'm gonna hit cancel so once you have your hyperlapse all imported into Lightroom what you're gonna do is go to develop and now you can edit all of these photos and I'll show you how to do that so click on the first one or choose a photo in your hyperlapse that you want to edit that kind of resembles the whole sequence that you've created and then you can 
do your edits on it. So you can see I already messed around with the edits here. So if I bring them back to normal, which is kind of what I shot it at, this is sort of what it looks like or what it looked like. Okay, and then so I messed around. I changed, I turned up my vibrance. Um, turn the highlights down. Actually, I'll turn the highlights up. Exposure up a bit so I can see that sky. And, you know, this is obviously super quick just to give you guys an idea. So, say once you've done your edit on your photo, you like it and you're like, okay, great, this is awesome. How am I going to copy and paste that to all these? No, that's not what we do. What we do is select the first one and then hold down the shift button, select the last one so you see they're all highlighted. And then you're going to hit this sync button and that's going to sync your first edit of the photo onto all of them. So let's hit that sync. And then what you're going to do is press synchronize. And then you'll see up here, it'll synchronize. And depending on the speed of your computer, it may be fast or it may be slow. And boom, we've just edited our hyperlapse photos. So now the last step you want to do is make sure that all your photos are selected. And you can see that right here, 90 photos selected. Right click, go to export, and we will export this. So what you can do is pick the folder that you want to put your exported photos into and leave the rename to file name and then hit export and you'll be good to go. So I already exported that um, so I'll just hit cancel. Next thing we want to do is open up Adobe After Effects okay and let me just make a new folder here I'll call this 001 hyperlapse tutorial and what we're gonna do here is once you've exported your photos, you're going to import them now into Adobe After Effects. So let's just right click, go to Import File, and what we're going to do is select the first photo of our hyperlapse, and that will be the nighttime hyperlapse, let's see, right here. Okay, so I got my first photo selected, and you can go to Options, and make sure it says camera raw sequence okay so check that one and then what that'll do is it'll select all these hyperlapses and make them into one big file which is a movie file and it'll open up this screen and say do you want to edit this and no I don't so I'll just press OK because I already edited it in Lightroom and it'll import it all right here as one big movie file so as you can see um, I can go page down to see every single frame of this whole hyperlapse and I'm happy. So what I'm going to do is drag this into my new folder, the 001 hyperlapse tutorial, and then I'll drag this whole hyperlapse into a new composition. Let go. Boom. I'll have my video hyperlapse. So the next step you want to do is stabilize it because it's a little shaky. I mean, you can already tell from the first frame I'm already off center. So what you want to do is go into your effects and presets, type in warp stabilizer, and we're going to drag this onto our hyperlapse, and then we're going to let it analyze in the background. Okay, cool. Now you've got your hyperlapse stabilized. I would RAM preview it just to check it out, see if it's looking pretty good, and then we'll be going on to the next step. Okay, cool. So this is good for me. I like this. Now, when I was shooting this hyperlapse at night, I had it on a two second shutter speed and you'll see little bumps when I barely touch the camera. It, it really blurred things out. So watch for that if you're doing any type of night lapse, hyperlapse shoots. Don't touch your tripod. <laughs> so say you're happy with this. Um, because I am what we're gonna do next is go to composition add to render queue and then go to your output module and what we'll do is format QuickTime go to format options and choose your video Kodak um, you can go to Apple ProRes 422HQ I'm gonna go LT which is a little smaller file um, I don't need a huge file because I'm really posting this one on Instagram so I'm gonna go OK and then you can name it and render it out 
Okay, great. Now that you've got your new hyperlapse all rendered out into a video file, we're going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro and do our last step of creating this hyperlapse. So let's import our rendered out file into Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go into here, right click, I'm going to press import. So find your hyperlapse file 0001 hyper tutorial and import that into Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we want to do is we can drag this as a new sequence and that's going to create a sequence that's 2700 by 1800. Um, now I have a Sony a7S II, not exactly the greatest picture camera out there, but it does the job how I need it to. So what I'm going to do is turn the frame size down to 1920 by 1080. So I've got my HD sequence and I'll press OK. Cool. Now what I can do is resize it the way I want it or I can press Command Z and just go down here right click and go to the bottom down here where it says scale to frame size. Now it's kind of cut off on my screen um, but if you go under under the frame hold options down towards the bottom there's a selection that says scale to frame size click on that it'll scale it down and then you can scale it up to fit it in there and boom this is your hyperlapse ready to go good to go and now you can add your audio effects music whatever you want and then export it out of Adobe Premiere Pro and boom you're done that's how you create a hyperlapse. All right, guys, I hope you liked that last tutorial. If it helped you at all, please leave us a like and leave us a comment. What kind of stuff do you guys want to learn about? What visual effects do you want to know more about? Is there a little trick you saw someone do on Instagram that you want to know how, how this movie magic thing happened? Um, hopefully, I can address that issue for you, get you a couple of tutorials on our Video Fort channel, and show you some cool stuff. All right, guys, I'm Magic Bard. This is Video Fort, and I'll see you on the next one.